Hello and welcome to my Keto Kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today I'm going to make with you my favorite chocolate chip cookie. Now we're in the winter right now, so I'm using Lily's Peppermint White Chocolate Chips. And the bag looks like this. I have gone through several bags of this and I plan to buy many more before they're gone for the season. Let's just get started. This is one and a half cups of my perfected keto flour. One and a half cups is 158 grams. We need one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We need half of a teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to need half of a cup of allulose. Also half of a cup of my allulose brown sugar, which I will link in a card above. For the wet ingredients, we need one entire stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons of butter. We need one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, and we need half of a cup of the Lily's chocolate chips. Now, the amount is up to you. It's however many chocolate chips you want. I like to use half of a cup. And let's mix it up. Okay, now that we have our cookie dough, it's completely blended. I have my cookie scoop. Now, this cookie dough will not flatten itself. You will have to flatten this cookie dough. So, I take one scoop, roll it, and squish it. And let's see how many cookies we can get. Okay, we have got 15 cookies out of this batch of cookie dough. We're going to bake this at 350 degrees between eight and 10 minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long this batch took, but these are definitely my favorite chocolate chip cookie. And I will be right back to show them to you and taste them for you. I wish I could share, I would if I could, but I will be right back. Okay, so these cookies actually took 12 minutes. Before that, I had my bread in the oven, so maybe that messed up the temperature inside the oven. Usually it takes between eight and 10, but these took 12. So 12 minutes. I've also had them sitting on the counter for about 10 minutes, so I can pick up the tray. They are completely cooled. Now I have to break this cookie on camera and show you what the inside looks like. And of course, my favorite part, I have been craving these. That's something really interesting that I love about my flour is you know how when you're doing keto, you make things because you're hungry and you have to eat. But when it comes to a lot of keto foods, you are not craving that food. You're making that food because you're hungry and you need to eat. However, I noticed that with my perfected keto flour, when you go to make a recipe, you crave that food. You crave that. Not because you're hungry, not because you're trying to stay keto, but because it just tasted so good that you craved that particular food. If you've experienced that with my flour, will you please put it in the comments down below? So now I'm going to taste this. I already know I love it. Oh my gosh. I adore it. Mm. There's really not enough good things that I can say about this cookie recipe. Mm. When you come back for more because it just tastes good, not because you have to, not because you're hungry, you have done something pretty awesome. Mm. If you make this cookie recipe, if you alter it and you make it just right for you, please let me know. Please put it in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday and you have a blessed day.